Good afternoon, Eddie. Still about limited? No, oh, hello, hello there. Is that Eddie? Hello? Sorry? Hello? 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 Uh, hello, is that Eddie Stubbert? Yes, it is. Hi, uh, hello there. This is Hector Brocklebunk from HB Fash. Uh-huh. No, is Eddie about just now? No, he's away on business. Oh, dear. I phoned last time when he was in Belgium or somewhere. Oh, all right. It, uh, it, I'll put you through to her secretary. She'll be able to take the details. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. Hi. Hello, it's John Woodman speaking. How can I help? Hello there. Hello. Hi, hello there. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Uh, yes. Hi, hello. hello. I'm in, I'm in Malari at the moment. This is uh, Hector Brocklebank from HB Fash. Uh-huh. How and, can I help? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to bother you. I was very much hoping to talk to Eddie, and I know him fairly well. Uh, we met in the 60s at Newport Pagnell Services. Oh, right. Aye, aye. And uh, you know, he's done very well, and I've kind of stood still. Oh, well, I'm sure that's not true. He's a lovely man, a lovely man, and he's got that big fleet of lorries, and I've got one. But there we are. Um, no, <laughs> I'll tell you what it is. It's a rather embarrassing incident for it's happened at Nutsford Services a couple of times, as far as one of your drivers, and he, he's letting my tyres down. Right. Yeah, uh, but his name is Tommy. And uh, he's got a, a Newcastle accent. Tommy with a Newcastle accent? Ah, uh, he's a big lad, about 18 stone. And his eye stuffing his face with donuts. His what? His, his eye stuffing his, his fizzog with, with donuts. And, uh, it, I mean, it, a joke's a joke, but it, it, it's taken me all my time to get my tyres pumped back up again. Right, can you... T- why, why would he do that? I've no idea at all. It's industrial espionage, if you ask me, though. And he's done it to you twice? Aye, he's done it to me a, a, a buckley times now, darling, and it's wearing a bit of thin. And, and have you actually seen him do this? Aye, aye, I have. You have? Aye, we, we, we stopped for a fry up at, uh, at Nutsford, and uh, it's happened three or four times now. So he's let your tyres down three or four times. Oh, and I mean, he's not, he's, he's not only letting my tyres down, but he's letting the good name of Eddie Stobart down for, for while he's at it, you know? Right. That sounds very strange. Well, well. Does he actually know you, then, or not? He, pr- he probably knows who I am, but, um, you know, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not one to take it to the police because I know Eddie and he's a, he's a lovely man and uh, I wouldn't like to cause any trouble for him. But I would like to get that stopped, you can yeah, oh, well, you understand that, yes. Aye, well, aye, aye. Did you get a registration number or anything of his vehicle? No, I think I've got a trailer number, though. Hang on a minute, Hold right, on, hold okay. on. Aye, all I've got here, my dear, is 028. 028. Aye, aye. Right, so his name's Tommy and he's got a Newcastle accent. Very bad breath. Bad breath, right. He, he walks with a limp. He what, sorry? He, he walks with a limp. He walks with a limp, right. Right, okay. He's hev- heavily tattooed. I need to contact the fleet department just to see if I can track down the vehicle. He's got a glass eye. Can I take down your telephone number? Aye, for, for the Brigetto. Sorry? For the Brigetto on the description. Uh, sorry, I can't make that out. Uh, I'm saying I was giving you a description there. Uh-huh. Aye. Did we get to the false teeth? Did we get to... <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, he's got a moustache. <laughs> Keep your eye out for the boy with a glass eye. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. Over and out.